our first guest's uh, life is an open book and a never-ending reality show. Her new stand-up comedy special is called Kathy Griffin Does the Bible Belt. It premieres next Tuesday night on Bravo. And the sixth season of her Emmy-winning My Life in the D-List premieres June 15th on that same network. Please welcome Kathy Griffin. <laughs> that you finally made it to the Twitter party, Grandma. I know, I it's really... It's about time, Grandma. It Look took a you. long time. Look at you. I've been on for three weeks, and it's consumed my life entirely. I know, but why didn't you hop on board when Oprah did the special Oprah about it? I don't know, because what am I going to do, follow Oprah? You no, know? don't I mean, do that. Don't I've do lived that. my life going against Oprah's witches, and now, you did know... Did you say witches? You accused Maybe. Oprah and Gail of witchery. <laughs> I've, I've often thought it was a small and powerful coven out to, kill, out to get me. Oprah, yes. Gail, no. Gail is, Gail's uh, off the table? Gail is not a witch, no. Uh, okay, but can you confirm that Stedman exists? Because I think he's a hologram. Uh, you know what? You might be right. I'm not sure he's... Not a Stedman gram, but a hologram. Or an avatar. <laughs> he could uh, be. He has large blue feet. Now look. <laughs> Have you ever met Stedman? No one has. <laughs> no one has. <laughs> Not even his parents. You know what I'm saying? Is that right? He's, does, he's magical. Stedman the friendly ghost. Right. Wow. He doesn't that, exist. That Oprah, is... Oprah invented him the way she did all of us here. <laughs> this is, we're just all in Oprah's matrix. None of us really exist. I, by the way, can you help me with this Pat and Lorna, by the way? Yes, I'm, we're going to take them down. Here's how. Okay, what we're going to do is the way you're going to win a Twitter war is you're going to get the Justin Bieber army to turn against them. Oh. Trust me on this one. Yes. Justin Bieber is a fierce bitch. And <laughs> you really? do not want to anger okay. the Justin Bieber army. Because let me tell you something. The, the Claymates, remember them? Yeah. They were like Girl Scouts compared to the yeah, Bieber you're army. Right. All right, uh, Bieber Town, I don't know what they're called. Bieber Gate, I don't know what their name Bieber is. Bieber Fever, they have Bieber. Bieber Fever? Okay, yeah. they have it. So uh, you clearly have not caught it. No, I haven't caught it because I'm an adult man, and if I did catch it, <laughs> it would be weird. You're you know? afraid to fall in love with the teen lesbian? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. See, okay, see, now, you, can you don't, no. he doesn't even know what he has started. I so didn't start this, For me did. to even just issue a I call it uh -huh. um, like a play. Let's start the segment. Why would you call it that? It's, it's a spin. I on see. Tweeting. I got you. And um, and so if you declare war on a Justin Bieber who has like a gajillion followers, oh. then you will get many more followers. But you oh. also will get a lot of angry tweets as well. No, I don't want to mess with Bieber. No, I wouldn't. And also, there's weird people like Ryan Seacrest. Somehow she's got like tons of followers. <laughs> I can't figure it out, but you know what? Good for her. More power to her. So that, that's one way to do it. I'm almost certain Ryan is a man, but uh, you might know better sure? than me. I, I I'm pretty I sure. So. You uh, you took out an ad. Um, I, right, which, don't rub my face in it. Uh, well, yeah, I took. I'm just gonna say it. I took out my own Emmy ad that I paid for myself. In the Hollywood Reporter, which it's is a trade paper. <laughs> why, did, why did you pay for this yourself? First of all, can we just talk about the photo, if you even want to call it a photograph? Yeah, let's have a close-up look at it. It's much more like a painting than a photograph. I don't know who that pretty lady is, but I like her. And yeah, that's called airbrushing, uh -huh. and it made me a star. I got gotcha. you. Um, if I ever meet her, I'm going to shake her hand, it because says, she's a pretty, pretty 19-year-old. Outstanding lead actress in a soon-to-be-released sex video. Yes. That's enticing. Well, that's how you get more followers on Twitter. <laughs> that's another way. You tease them with your sex tape yet to come. Mine, of course, will be with Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, that would, be, that would be big. Bring it. You think, I don't think they would see that as a, as a positive if you oh. were to Oops. deflower little I Justin. I meant my sex tape with Oprah. Yeah. There we go. That's better. I'm trying to sell tickets here, You're basically. Doing, you are, you know, this is, I think, how you know okay. somebody's doing you very just, well. You just did something that irritated me, which is you just, did you just touch my mother's book? Yeah, yeah. I my did. mother has a book deal. Uh -huh. My mother. That's what I was going to say. You know why? Because she's more popular on my show than I am. Your mom, Maggie, yes. who's here in the audience yes. with us tonight. Hello. Right. Now, she, this to me is the pinnacle of success. Right. When you're you're so popular, your mother actually can start putting products out, and your mother can profit from these things. Oh, you know that she will outsell me. There's no doubt in my mind. This is your mother's book. Yes. Which, it's called Tip It. And it's really an homage to her love for boxed wine. You, um, 
It seems like you got... It's like the anti-AA. Remember how AA was kind of a manifesto for a lot of people and helped them? This is kind of like, this really undoes all of Bill W.'s work. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it seems also like you're blocked out by the glass of wine there. And then... <laughs> Yeah. Whose choice was that? That was my mother's. And your mother's? She's out to get me, along with Justin Bieber. <laughs> Whose idea was this, Maggie? Was this your idea to do no, this book? No, it was not. It was not. It was not. Did you it's actually crazy. write it, or did Kathy put words into your mouth? Um, I wrote, let's say, nearly all of it. Nearly all of it? Nearly all of it. Okay, and do we, have, we do have a lot of exchanges in the book. Okay, uh, first of all, did no. you have the exchanges? She's drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> backstage. Really? Yes, you have a wonderful backstage. She to be she's... a role model. <laughs> no, she doesn't have to be a role model. Those days are over. Now she can just get drunk and do whatever she wants. Really? Right. Yeah, of That's course. Right. And next week she's going to be 90 years young. Wow. Yes. Really? Come on. For real? Yeah. Wow. For real. Wow. You, yeah. look, you really do look unbelievable. Maybe I'm drunk, too. I don't know, but... Now, have you ever have you ever had an entire box of wine in one day? No, I've never drinking... I've never drinking wine out of a box. What's going on? This is two? why I'm You're not writing flurry. books. Yeah, but no, I've never had wine from a what's box. The, Mom, what's the most wine you've ever had in one, one day? And don't lie. Probably three glasses. Okay, that's... Such in a... <laughs> glasses is called for boxes. Is okay, it right? Yeah, that's right. But tippet means what? Tell them what tippet means. Tippet means um, it kind of started when we started to drink box wine. Wrap it up. <laughs> and people would say, <laughs> and people would say, like, oh, it's almost empty. Pan and alcohol saying, panic. Panic. It's yeah, empty. Panic sets in. Really? So you, we would say, well, just tip the box, and then you tip the spigot. And you get all of the wine out of the box. Tip it, yeah. You get so that essential. was the thing. And then we, we just said it evolved into, well, let's tip it, which meant have a glass of wine. I Don't like talk that. to her. She's talking to a stranger. She's trying to get that girl to go <laughs> drinking with her. Well, I have this. I know like, she thinks like she's on the hill where they're going to go to, like, hide afterwards or some nightclub very and, then we, we, and meet up with LC. And you have these boxes. What, do you build, like, a shelter out of them? Or what do you do no, with all you these could, boxes? Though. No, you, you can recycle them, though. Yeah. So it's, it's called going green, Jimmy. That's classy. You just got served. <laughs> Yes, yeah. And what would you do with them when you recycle them? Plant flowers in them or something? No, no, you just fold it, like kind of fold them and give it in a bag or a whatever. Oh, you turn it into recycle the... I got you. We yes. give, we'd like to give them back to the church. <laughs> We're very religious. That, is, that is very generous. Yeah. And now, but now your book is out on paperback. You mean my New York Times number one bestseller? Your New York Times number one bestseller. <laughs> this could cause... This could be a problem. How many, I mean, how much well, appetite? Well, we're actually, this is really sick, but we're, um, there's no ad budget. It's just me sitting here talking to you, uh -huh. as usual, trying to get you to buy my wares. But my mom <laughs> and I are actually going to do dual signings. Oh, really? Yes, that's right. And I'm going to take her down. Much. She's my Lorna, who is it? Pat and Lorna. She's my Pat and Lorna. Yes. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, so you guys are, are like competing in a way. Yeah, we're in, a, like, we're in a Twitter war, and she doesn't really know what that is. <laughs> so you will, have, you will both be at the signings. And we'll see who has a longer line of gay men waiting to talk I about. see. That's the way to go, huh? Thank that's you. That's how you exactly. measure the success. Yeah. <laughs> Do gays buy more books? Yes, gays buy more books. Why do you think that gays is? Gays are just better. They're just better. <laughs> um, I don't know if you saw Lady Gaga and Larry King. Of course. Okay, who didn't? Yeah. And with her weird opposite outfit of Larry King. Yeah, and now which one of them is gay? Are you saying one of them is I'm gay? I'm saying absolutely Larry King is gay. <laughs> and so, uh, and yeah, and so gays are just better in every way. And in fact, I'm going to be honest, to pay for my... Emmy ad, because of course I paid for it myself, and I'm just being honest about How that. How much was it? It was a lot. It was. I, I took a one-nighter. In fact, I'm doing Milwaukee Pride um, just to pay for the damn ad. <laughs> really? And, <laughs> and no, I would do Milwaukee Pride in any way. Here's why. You know what that is, right? Milwaukee. No, I assume it's... It, it's a, a bunch of gay men descend upon Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, they must love that. And gay it up. They gay wow. it up. Yes. In Milwaukee, huh? Yeah. Oh, you can, the Milwaukee gays don't play. They are serious. They are not the Chelsea gays. They're not the Haight-Ashbury gays. No, no. The Milwaukee gays are serious. They're hardcore. Yeah, hardcore. I did it one other time, and you're performing outside, and they've all got, like, the cups full of perhaps box wine. Ring a bell, mother? Uh -huh. and, um, and, and right before I went on, they were all just like sort of randomly dancing on the grass, and I assume there was a daisy chain involved or some sort of <laughs> elephant walk or... A, Hold on. Let me I ask your mom. What is a daisy chain? I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't is. know for sure I think either. it's when uh, one gay guy holds the penis of the gay guy behind him <laughs> and then they form like a chain. No, like that, that can't be what it is. Can you picture a pretty, pretty daisy in the field <laughs> watering a pretty daisy? That can't possibly be what it is. <laughs>
<laughs> just, I'm the pride of the Griffins. Yeah, I would think so. Pride. Well, it's, and so anyway, so one time I was doing pride, and one guy just passed out right in front of me, and those queens just danced right around him and didn't st stop. Really? It was so funny. They just ooh, cha, ooh, cha, ooh, cha, and there's a guy just passed out. Well, you got to go on. You can't stop the festival for one no, guy. Of course not. Well, you've got a lot of things to plug here. This and is my your life on book. the D list is back. And June my 15th. life on the D list is back, which is a very funny show. June fifteenth on Bravo. Your Kathy Griffin does the Bible Belt yes, on Bravo as well. We've got 11 books from every member of the Griffin family. <laughs> it is a veritable cornucopia of Griffin stuff. There they are, <laughs> Kathy's book, Maggie's book, and uh, it's great to have you here. Thanks for Always coming back. We'll Thank be right you, back. Kathy Griffin, everybody.